day everyone! Welcome to the YouTube channel of MSA Institute. I am Teacher Ada, a Singapore math trained teacher. And I want to invite all of you to join me in Merlin's Singapore Math Adventures. If this is your first time to watch this video, I would like to invite you to hit the subscribe button but if this is not your first time and it has already been your favorite channel, I know that you will like it. So hit the like button. And if you want to be reminded of our new videos, I want you to hit the notification bell for more videos. So, are you ready? I am ready. So, let's go! that focuses on comparison. This means that our challenge problems will be involving the comparison of two or more quantities. With that being said, our solution will be following two or more step procedures. So are you ready? This will be very easy and quick. Challenge problem number one. You may read it with me. Koi has two more stickers than Arkin. Joaquin has three more stickers than Koi. If Arkin has eight stickers, how many stickers does Joaquin have? With this challenge problem, we know that there are three kids we are talking about. Koi, Arkin, and Joaquin. We know that Arkin has eight stickers, but for both Koi and Joaquin, we are clueless. How many stickers do you think do they have? We will be able to find out later. So for our solution, we know that Koi, Joaquin, and Arkin have stickers. And using our strategy in Merlin Math, we're going to use the bar model. As you can see on the screen, we know that Arkin has eight, but for Koi, represented by the yellow block, we don't know how many stickers he has. The same with Joaquin, whose stickers are represented by the blue block. So, with the bar model, the comparison of the number of their stickers will be easily understood. So, who do you think among the three kids has the greatest number of stickers? Mm, easy, right? It is Joaquin. You are correct. And who has the least number of stickers? You can see it on the screen. Yes, it's the red block, which represents the number of stickers of Arkin. And Arkin has eight stickers. Now you have a clue. So let's go to the next step. So Koi has two more stickers than Arkin, and Arkin has eight stickers. So this is Arkin's stickers represented by the red block. Make a clue, okay? When you say more, it means it must be greater. Therefore, the number of the stickers of Koi must be greater than Arkin. Therefore, it must be greater than? You are correct. Greater than 8. Then there's another block there. And that is the yellow block which represents the stickers of Koi. So as you can see, it is a 
longer block because the number of stickers of koi is greater than the number of stickers of archean. Now, for us to understand, you have to consider that this block is consisting of eight equal units. As you can see on the image below, you now have there eight small boxes. And how many more boxes do we need to add to be able to know the number of stickers of koi? Well, you made a clue earlier when you said two more stickers said it is greater. Therefore, we are going to add two more blocks. And when we say we add two more blocks, it means plus two. So eight plus two will give us the number of stickers owned by Koi. And that is easy because the sum is 10. Now we know in this step that Koi has 10 stickers. Isn't it easy? So Arkin has eight and Koi has 10. Now, it is easy for us to know the answer to challenge problem number one. Let's go to our next step. Let's talk about the number of stickers of Joaquin this time. The problem says Joaquin has three more stickers than Koi. Mm, that is quick. You remembered our second step. When you say more, it means it's greater which means that if we compare the stickers of Koi and Joaquin, we know that the stickers of Joaquin is greater than that of Koi. Very good. Okay, so we knew already from step number two that Koi has 10 stickers. And let's again use our magic Merlin math strategy, our bar model. Okay, so Koi is 10. And if Joaquin has three more, the blocks must be longer than that of Koi. And you can see that the blue block there is longer than that of Koi's. Again, let's split it into equal units so that we would know. So there are 10 small boxes, 10 equal units representing the stickers of Koi. And it says there, Joaquin has three more. Three more. So our clue, more, meaning we're going to add three more stickers. So 10 plus 3 will give you, that is right, 13. Now we know that Joaquin has 13 stickers. So we are correct. Why? Because we know that Joaquin has a greater number of stickers than Koi. So, Arkin has 8, Koi has 10, and to answer challenge problem number 1, Joaquin has 13 stickers. Let us now summarize our solution for our challenge problem number 1. We know that Koi, Arkin, and Joaquin have stickers. Given the problem is that Arkin has eight stickers. And we use this given to compare the number of stickers of Koi to Arkin and Joaquin to Arkin. Based from the problem, we know that Koi has two more stickers than Arkin. It was also mentioned that Joaquin has three more stickers than Koi. I mentioned earlier in this two-part video series that the focus of our challenge problem will be on comparison. In here, we are comparing the quantities of the stickers of Koi, Arkin, and Joaquin. I also mentioned that the magic trick used 
by the Merlin match strategy is the usage of the bar models. The bar models or the blocks that you can see on the screen will make it easier for you to compare the number of stickers of these three young boys. As you can see, Koi has two more stickers than our kin. That is why we use the operation addition. We added 8 and 2. That is why we came up with 10 as the number of stickers of Koi. As you can see here, 8 is less than 10. Therefore, Koi has more stickers than our kin. Now, for the answer to our challenge problem, we need to know the number of stickers owned by Joaquin. And in our bar model on the screen, you will be able to see there that there are three more stickers for Joaquin, okay, as we compare it to Koi. Therefore, we added 10, the number of stickers owned by Koi, plus 3, giving us 13. Therefore, the final answer to the challenge problem is 13 stickers. As you can see, young athletes, it is so easy to answer challenge problems involving comparison when you use Merlin Singapore Math Strategies. This is the first part of our two-part video series. And we're going to have more challenge problems using this strategy in our next video. Now, I know you enjoyed our video for today. And for more videos of the Merlin Singapore Math Adventures, kindly like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the MSA Institute YouTube channel. I'll see you on our next